Hello, uh, I thought I would explain something about one of my paintings and this particular piece is called Tiger Moving Nowhere or Tiger Moving Nowhere at all. It was created for a competition held by the Museum of Modern Art in Wales with the theme of moving and I thought, I instantly thought moving tiger would be a perfect thing but I also wanted to make something that was emotionally moving, so I, I wanted to do something about the extinction of a tiger. And so that's essentially what this painting is about. We've got a tiger leaping from left to right um, with lightning dramatically slicing it in two, and it, it literally breaks up into pieces. And we have lots of bits of tiger spread throughout the picture. We've got the stripes of the tiger breaking into pieces. We've got a tiger's face in the distance, echoing the face at the front. And we also have a curious shape here, which is looks like a tiger stripe, but it's actually a falling man. And further down, we see the same falling man. It's like the same shape has been repeated twice in the picture. And something I like to do is repeat a similar shape throughout a picture to create a theme that repeats in a similar way to musical themes. I've done that in quite a few of my paintings. In the bottom corner we have a hunter carved onto the rock like a, a cave painting and he's throwing a spear, throwing, hunting the tiger, so thus reinforcing the theme of uh, extinction really. The tiger itself is leaping towards an eclipse, showing that it's on the brink as a, as a species. And the man who's falling off the cliff there is falling into an abyss himself, indicating in some way that a that man and the animal are linked, that the death of a tiger is also somehow the death of humanity, that all things depend on each other to some extent. There are also lots of really tiny details in among the um, red waterfall, the blood red waterfall. Just like there are tiny details further up, like a, a bird here. And you'll also note that the entire painting as a whole is tiger shaped. You've got the curve here and then a mouth, the mouth of the eclipse. So it makes an abstract tiger shape the entire painting. So thus it includes so many elements of a tiger all in one painting, things falling away, things being divided into parts, and the tiger begins from rock as though it's primordial, something growing from the ancient past. It's leaping into the future, becomes really realistic, and then its future is eclipsed. You also note this particular work is framed unusually with these quarter pieces which also break up the painting echoing the the way the painting is broken up this is actually a print it's reproduction number three of 50 there are only 50 reproductions and each one is framed uniquely so this number three is the only one that's framed in this particular way but each one is framed in a slightly different way number two had copper around the edge the original oil painting of this is framed in a very thick uh, gold frame well, that's the picture. Tiger moving nowhere at all.